At the height of the Cold War, the world's two superpowers created a new pair of battlefield aircraft, similar in both power and purpose. One is America's A-10 Thunderbolt, known as the Warthog, and the other is Russia's Su-25, also known as the Frogfoot. Both aircraft were designed for the sole purpose of dedicated close air support. These tank busters have remained highly effective in various battlefields since their inception. Today in this video, we'll be pitting America's A-10 Warthog against Russia's Su-25 Frogfoot and try to determine which aircraft is better. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification squad. Number 1. The Su-25 is quite a bit smaller than the A-10, but has a top speed of 606 miles per hour. That's over 167 miles per hour faster than the A-10. Both aircraft can carry a wide array of bombs, rockets, missiles, pods, and fuel tanks under their wings. But the A-10 can take off with almost 7,451 more pounds load than its Russian equivalent. The 30mm cannon on the Su-25 is significantly less impressive due to more limited rounds than the A-10, but it still packs a killer punch. The Su-25 is smaller and faster, making it a more difficult target. Both aircrafts are heavily armored and considered the safest and most feared close air support jets in the world. Number 2. The A-10 is powered by two turbofan engines, generating 18,130 pounds of thrust combined. The engines allow the aircraft to reach a maximum speed of 439 miles per hour. With a ferry range of 2,580 miles, the aircraft has a combat radius of 290 miles. The A-10 weighs around 24,959 pounds and can take off with a maximum weight of 50,000 pounds. With a climb rate of 6,000 feet per minute, the aircraft can reach a maximum altitude of 45,000 feet. On the other hand, the major driver of the Su-25's performance is its two engines. The engines are capable of generating around 19,860 pounds of thrust. These are meant to drive the jet to a maximum speed of 606 miles per hour. With a maximum range of 620 miles, the aircraft can combat within the radius of 470 miles. The Frogfoot weighs around 21,605 pounds and can take off with a maximum weight of 42,549 pounds. With a climb rate of 11,400 feet per minute, the jet can reach a maximum altitude of 23,000 feet. The Su-25 is a bit faster and more agile than the A-10. However, the A-10 can fly about 22,000 feet higher than its Russian counterpart. The A-10 has a couple of more miles range than the Su-25 and can carry more weight. However, the Su-25's climb rate is double that of the A-10. Number 3. Survivability is an essential attribute of any successful ground attack aircraft. The A-10 excels in this category due to its heavy armor. For example, the engines are located a bit higher on the rear fuselage. The aircraft's wings, fuselage, and tail shield them against attacks from most angles. Flight controls operate with dual hydraulic systems, including a mechanical one as a backup. Heavy armor ensures that A-10s are immune to small arms fire, which is useful when flying between 50 and 500 feet above ground level. The cockpit is situated inside a titanium-armored bathtub, capable of withstanding a direct hit from 23mm rounds. Modern A-10 pilots have the advantage of night vision imaging systems, enabling them to operate effectively in night missions. In contrast, the Su-25 is a comparatively smaller and faster jet, which makes it a difficult target from ground fire. 
However, it is less of a problem for guided missiles. The Frogfoot is able to reach supersonic speeds when flown clean, and the airframe can withstand 6.5 Gs. With a higher speed and maneuverability, the Su-25 can defeat man pads launched from closer distances. The Su-25 is not as resistant to damage, but is more difficult to hit. The skill of a pilot and ground crew trying to bring it down is more of a factor. The jet is equipped with flares, chafe jamming pods, multi-spectral decoys, laser-based infrared jammer, and a dual infrared missile approach warning system in the modern Su-25, which provides a 90% defeat rate against any infrared missile. Number 4. Laser is the primary means of targeting, aiming, and weapon guidance for both aircraft. The A-10 is equipped with improved communications, inertial navigation systems, night vision, fire control, weapons delivery systems, and target penetration aids. The head-up display indicates airspeed, altitude, and dive angle on the windscreen. Paved penny laser tracking pods under the fuselage assist the A-10's primary gun. The aircraft also has armament control panels, infrared and electronic countermeasures to handle surface-to-air missiles. Similarly, the Su-25 has an integral laser system for ranging, tracking, and targeting with HUD designation. In terms of pods, the aircraft has infrared and optical systems for both day and nighttime operations. The aircraft is fortified with satellite navigation radar warning receivers and sophisticated attack systems, which allows for more precise targeting. Number 5. The A-10's most dominant feature is its primary weapons, the 30mm 7-barrel Gatling gun. The aircraft is literally designed around the gun. The jet is capable of disabling a main battle tank from a range of 4 miles. The cannon can fire a variety of ammunition, including armor-piercing and uranium-depleted rounds. The gun magazine can hold 1,350 rounds. Depending on the target, the pilot can select a firing rate of 2,100 or 4,200 rounds a minute. The A-10 has 11 hardpoints, including 8 pylon stations under both wings, while the remaining 3 are fitted under the fuselage, with a total payload capacity of 16,000 pounds. The A-10 can carry up to 10 Maverick air-to-surface missiles. The aircraft can also be fitted with paved penny laser guidance and electronic support measures. The jet can also be armed with Sidewinder missiles, having a speed over Mach 2.5. The A-10 is capable of deploying a wide range of unguided ordnance as well. In contrast, the Frogfoot is fitted with 11 hardpoints capable of carrying various rocket pods, bombs, and missiles. The bomb loadouts include a variety of general-purpose munitions, cluster bombs, and other special-purpose weaponry. The aircraft's most impressive weapon is its 30mm cannon, capable of firing 3,000 rounds per minute. The Su-25 has a nose-mounted laser rangefinder that assists with target acquisition, allowing the cannon's high explosive and depleted uranium armor-piercing shells to find their mark. For devastating strafing runs, the Su-25 can also be armed with wing-mounted 23mm cannon pods. <laughs> The A-10 clearly has a better gun, although the cannon is an inherently ineffective weapon against armored vehicles and requires the aircraft to flow dangerously close, except for the 55mm S-5 rocket with a smaller warhead. The Su-25 carries more unguided rockets, such as the 122mm S-13, the powerful and longer-ranged S-25 and S-24 rockets. In contrast, the A-10 can unload almost twice as much dumb bombs and precision-guided bombs. The Su-25 is more agile and can escape from enemy missiles. The Su-25's missiles, the R-60 and K-13, are inferior to the A-10's AIM-9 Sidewinder and AGM Maverick. However, the Su-25 can carry a pair of R-73 or active homing medium-ranged R-77 missiles on the outer pylons. So, what do you think? Which aircraft is better? 
America's A-10 Warthog, or Russia's Su-25 Frogfoot? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.